right, this is Nick Farrow with English Discovery. One more mini vid on editing basics, getting your report in good shape. This is part three, and you really must know this because this is a review of parts one and two. If you do some practice now, you can get all those points 100% clear. So, let's look at the target points. These are the four types of mistakes we studied in Minivids 1 and 2. Let's check the targets. Here's the first one. What is it? Subject and verb matching. Next one. Using the be verb when you don't need it. Capital letter but or and. No good. And Ellen ate a banana or bananas. These are all wrong. Let's do some practice to correct this kind of mistake. Okay, read this through once to catch the meaning. Sorry, but there really is not much meaning to this piece of writing. The content is terrible. Anyway, now Pause the video and analyze this for the four types of grammar mistake. The first one will be subject and verb matching. Can you see where there are problems between subjects and verbs in this piece? Let's check. First, let's show the subjects which have verbs that don't match. Here they are, three of them. Can you correct the mistakes? Well, here are the points corrected. My sister says. My sister eats, and my brother and sister are not smart. That should be okay. Next, with this point analyzed, let's look at quantifiers and their nouns. These must match too. Look for nouns where the numbers don't match. Here they are. Ten should be easy. What's wrong with the noun? What about peanuts? A uh, peanuts? Two cats must be easy to see. And the final one, well, it should be a good report or good reports. And usually we write more than one report, so I think good reports is probably better. Here are the corrected forms. Ten cookies, some peanuts, you could also say a lot of peanuts, or even a bag of peanuts or a packet of peanuts. Next is two cats, and finally good reports. Let's move on. 
Okay, here's the next target. It's B plus a verb. Look for places where the verb to be is used wrongly. Let's start. You can see them now. Are you like chocolate is very strange. It means, are you similar to chocolate? Are you sweet? Well, that sounds very strange. The next is the same problem. I am like it. I am like chocolate. Very strange. The third one, you don't need a be verb. You've got must, which is a helping verb already. Next. What is the past of eat? Was eat? <sighs> the next two are okay. That's why they are in green. They are correct. It's just a be verb with an adjective. However, again, I am can. You've got a be verb followed again by a helping verb. It doesn't work. You don't need it. It's wrong. Let's see how this should be corrected. This is the good version. Do you like chocolate? Like is a general verb, so it needs a do helping verb. Cut am, cut am, change was eat to ate. The past tense of eat is ate. She ate some peanuts. Good. And the final one again, just cut the unneeded verb am. That's it. It's getting better. We're in the last stage now. It's and and but. If you see any of these with a capital letter, it's wrong. There they are. Very clear. We'll fix them. OK, and now everything is correct. OK, all the grammar mistakes are corrected. It's still not a very good report because the content is rather stupid. And there's no connection between the first and second paragraphs. But don't worry, our lesson is only about good grammar this time, so please focus on that. That's it. This is the end of this lesson. When you are ready, please watch part four. Your reports will get better and better.